Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. I'm Reese. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create an unlimited amount of 3D models that you can 3D print. I love the horse. So I was teaching Reese here a little bit about AI using ChatGPT, using the Maker World Image to 3D Maker Lab module. I don't and, have them, but he's just teaching me. And so she was super interested in all of this when I was able to create a horse just like this using an image and today I want to show you how you can literally find an unlimited amount of images to create your 3D models with and let's get right to it. Alright so the tool that we're going to be using first is not free but it's pretty cheap. It is mid journey and what we're going to be doing is using the the uh, feature called the Explorer tab, which basically what it does is it finds 3D or finds images that other creators have created. But what we're going to do is find specific images that we could use to drop into the image to 3D Maker Lab. What we're going to do, let's use that as an example, is we're going to do a search. So we're going to type in isolated isolated on a white background. So just that alone doesn't really give us much of what we were actually going to be looking for. What we need to do is add something to that to give me an idea of fish. So let's type in let's type in fish. We got our fish. Now what I notice with um, the Maker Lab image to 3D module is if you if you give it an image that looks like this where it's flat and straight on, you're not going to get that good of a um, of a 3D model. It's going to be basically flat on one side and have, you know, it's going to be it's almost going to look like a hamburger patty. So it, yeah, it's, it's going to be like this thick. And, and then the, and then it's just going to have the image. Yeah. So what we want to do is look for um, an image that is in per a perspective of the of the fish. Definitely so, not that trout. <laughs> <laughs> not that trout. This might. This actually might work. Let's let's see. I've never tried like a top down view, so this would be a really good way to try it out because this is a, like a cool looking kind of koi fish. So like oh, I want to show you some examples before we move ahead. So we did monster uh, isolated on a white background first. And we picked this guy, which it came out really good. It's almost like the Beholder or this one over here. Um, so this one turned out really good. It kind of rounded out the back and gave him some little pimples or whatever you want to call those. <laughs> and we found this guy too. This this guy was, is really, really cool. He's in a perspective mode. So it turned out actually really good, as you can He's see. Like, All the way around. You. And this was just basically using... The search isolated on a white background, monster isolated on a white background, fish, whatever you want to find, it will find it. You can say dragon, anything. You can get more specific. You can say horse. Yeah, you can say horse. So let's go you ahead and... say um, Minecraft one, whatever you want. Let's go ahead and upload our fish, <clears throat> see what happens. While it's generating, because it takes about two or three minutes, let's try something else. Give us a, give us an idea, Reese. Um, a Some, training area with a barn, like a barn, a ranch. How about a, a barn? How about a barn? So we're gonna we're gonna look for, uh, like a house, some kind of a building perspective. We got oh, this. Like this, this will one. do. This one will do good. Perfect. <clears throat> what I did notice. Um, it doesn't do very good with sharp edges. It likes to round everything over a lot. So we're going to be, we're going to probably get a barn, but it might be a little rounded. So let's go ahead and fast forward this part to free and generate this model. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up, you lazy animal. All right. So our fish, before we look at the 3D portion of it, this is again, this is the image that we found <coughs> just by searching the Explore tab. It looks so good. That looks 
pretty fantastic. What kind of fish is that? Is it like a catfish? It's like a catfish, catfish and a koi or yeah. something. Like a catfish and a koi had a baby and this is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, barn time. Now while the barn is generating, let's go ahead and find something else. What else? What else hmm. we want to find? A dragon. A dragon? So she's going. I like that one. She's going really big. Dragon, this one right here. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> oh, look at this little dragon baby. Let's do this guy. This is cool. So it's cute. pretty. It's pretty detailed. So we might get a. We might get a really good. Detail, more detailed, um, 3D model. Hurry up, you lazy animal! <laughs> so that did a pretty good job. All right. Job. So here's our barn image. Oh, I didn't hollow up. <gasps> <laughs> That's you, interesting. Yeah, you could still put horses in there. Like, I could <laughs> put this guy in here. Okay. I think it would probably fit, or maybe... So that's interesting. I, I would probably call this a fail, to be honest. I don't know what this design is. It's supposed to be an X. So it, it kind of... It still did pretty good. Kind of forgot to finish. So it would still be good to like. I'm I I can't wait to see the dragon. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. So here's our dragon. I'm kind of worried because of the the because of the wings and stuff. But let's see what happened. Oh, uh, it looks cool. I thought it didn't do the wings. It did do the wings. That's okay, I pretty... think the wings Whoa, were a little Whoa, look at that pale. butt. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it give him a little crack on his it butt? Forgot to, it forgot to give him a tail. The tail's supposed to be coming out and around. But it looks, I mean, it's cool. But I think um, that's pretty good. I think we, give, we gave them enough uh, tips that we found out while we were doing this by ourselves. What do you think? Mm -hmm. We're going to call this the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, send us a comment. And as always, have a great day and happy printing.